This new group is called Replacing the ALP. Can you tell us exactly what it's about? We believe that the ALP has reached the end of its life. It has become dysfunctional and has lost their ability to refresh and renew itself. We want to see an open public discussion about what comes next. A lot of people are thinking that something needs to change at the moment. The ALP has made an enormous contribution to Australian society. It was founded in 1891 and was a significant expression of its time. But we're not going to get much further on this worn out old horse. It is not equipped to meet our current or future challenges. Well, considering this, what can be done? The interests of progressive Australians will be best served by replacing the ALP with a new mainstream progressive party. We want to be able to use our imaginations to create a vibrant and active organisation. If we are able to do this, we're much more likely to achieve positive outcomes. This is a great opportunity. What is the motivation for doing this? We come from Labor families and we're, we're proud of that. We respect Labor history. Labor still has some good people in it, but it's just not working anymore. So what is dysfunctional with the ALP? Let's look at the problems the group has highlighted here. The first point referred to is a lack of transparency. It is easier to understand the Masons than it is to understand the ALP in 2011. It is full of power bases hidden to the public and there is little transparency about how decisions in the party are made. Tiny party membership. The party has serious issues in attracting and keeping members. Organisations are about people. It is hard for people to understand what the benefits of membership are and the party does not have the broad base of members required to create a vibrant organisation. Candidate selection. The ALP is unable to draw talent from a large pool of people because it doesn't have one. Australia is producing a lot of talented people at the moment, but the ALP is only drawing from a narrow band and this has become a bottleneck. Lack of community engagement and empowerment. There is limited engagement between the party and the public. Almost no one has anything good to say about it. There is little trust in how the party operates and some apprehension as to whose interest it is representing. How many people proudly say, I'm Labor, anymore? Well, couldn't the party just be reformed? There were a number of good suggestions in the recent review, but the effort required to create meaningful reform would be better spent on something new. We could keep on bandaging up the old horse, get the specialists in to have a look at it, or we can just get a new horse. Well, why not just start a new party? Eventually, we'd like to see a new party established, but right now it just wouldn't work. We need to have an open public discussion about what a new party would look like, and as an organisation it needs to be designed. This is going to take thousands of people from across the country to be involved. The ALP only has 35,000 members, if that, and the overwhelming majority of those are over the age of 50. GetUp has over 400,000 members. Let's talk about possible solutions. Um, the group has come up with two potential aspects for a new organisation, possible principles and organisational traits. Well, let's first review the principles. Building, protecting and improving on what the ALP has achieved. This means maintaining the key ALP principles that include the rights of labour to organise, social justice and equality, the elimination of discrimination, the social ownership of Australia's natural resources and multiculturalism. The maintenance and development of a high quality of life. We want to make the best of our economic circumstances and opportunities and continue to have a prosperous and productive economy. We want to continue the high living standards that Australians enjoy. But at the same time, we need to recognise that there's going to be a collision between economics and ecology and ecology is going to win. Quality of life cannot only be judged in material terms. Ambitiously engaging Australians on climate change. Climate change is a significant challenge, but we are going to have to face it. The best thing we can do is turn to our scientific community and develop a broad consensus of how we are going to prepare and adapt for it, and then turn to the public and sell it to them. This is going to cost, it is going to be painful, but we absolutely have to do it. We are one of the richest societies in the world, and if anyone should be able to act in their own long-term interests, it should be us. The creation of a new Australian social contract. Climate change, an unsustainable world population, and resource depletion are going to produce a series of unavoidable events that we are going to have to live through. We are only going to be able to face these events as a community, not as individuals. It is important for us to accept that there are winners and losers and that the people unaffected have a responsibility to the people affected in a national response. 
the accelerated movement to a low carbon economy. We have an imperative as global citizens to move towards a low carbon economy. We are amongst the worst carbon emitters in the world. Can't we at least run with the pack rather than be the laggards? This transformation will have its costs, but it will also present substantial economic opportunities. We are lucky enough to be a global energy powerhouse in both fossil fuel and potential renewable energy resources. Can you take us through the organisational traits that have been suggested? Transparency. Party members and the public should be able to see into the organisation and how it operates. Their internal processes should be easily understood. There should be no hidden power bases. Ease of member involvement. We want people to be re-engaged with politics. Make them want to be involved. Membership should be easy, flexible and be able to fit into people's lives. Channeling talent into parliaments. We need to be able to draw from the widest and deepest selection of talent to put into parliaments across the country. There should be a clear and easily understood process of how people can participate in politics. Ability to engage with a broad cross-section of the community. This is a big challenge, but a large number of people need to feel comfortable to say that they are a supporter of the party. And lastly, we need to open up the pre-selection process. It is better to have more people involved than less. Surely having thousands of people involved in a pre-selection vote is better than having almost no one. We want to be part of something that knows what it wants to do and how to do it, is brimming with talented people, and knows how to communicate its message to the public. The ALP is simply no longer capable of this task.